hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we are in a location at the bottom of St Aidan Street in Tunstall uh, revisiting the area uh, as you can see there's a hell of a lot of a dumping on this ground here now I'm not sure whether this ground is private property I can't see any sign saying it's private property I am going in and we're going to take a look at round at what is actually in there as you can see guys I have made me way through this shit yeah i've got to watch where i tread holy shit there is absolutely everything in here um so i've just made it through there i'm going to give you a good shot of this here just that there that's what i've just trod over to get in to this part here now i'm not sure whether this is council land whether it's private land i am not sure but i can tell you now i feel like i am in sakar if you don't know what sakar is i suggest you go and watch thor ragnarok and you'll know exactly what i'm on about oh my god this is absolutely terrible All things i do for bring a video and to make a difference um this is absolutely terrible so we've got here there's a light off a car we've got hand glue shitload of bike tires glass everywhere uh, don't know what the hell that is uh, summit i don't know but oh, there's a lot of bits that have come off cars and I know there is some car garages around here uh, look at all that oh my lord that's everything that is I think it's businesses dumping um, houses dumping landlords dumping everywhere everybody is just dumping their rubbish here uh, so one thing I'm worried about I'm not so worried about glass I'm more worried about stepping on any needles or anything like that so um, that's what I'm going that's what I'm watching out for but as you can see people have been over having a, a fire and stuff uh, look at all this I can't believe it definitely I feel like I am in Sakar and out of the bushes over there the Hulk is going to come running at me I'm Thor, the Hulk's going to come running out like I said guys I'm just if you don't know what Sakar is go and watch Thor Ragnarok <laughs> I think it's funny uh, look at all this so it used to be Judging by that there, this used to be probably, I don't know, maybe a workshop or some type of thing, car garage maybe. There was obviously summit here and it's been knocked down. Lots of fires going on. And obviously there was a business here. It's closed down, been knocked down and it's been left as an empty space where people have literally just gone dumping. Oh my lord, look at this. Oh my fucking god. Oh my lord. So, I don't know what the council can do. Can they go in, um, sort of contact the landowner? Can they do summit? Uh, do by contacting the landowner and getting them to sort this shit out? Do the council have to take control of it and you know clean it up themselves i don't know i don't know the processes but what i am going to do is i am going to report this again um to the council now we did have a response from twitter we posted it on our twitter account the joe vlogs twitter account or x account um we did get a response and that response was to report it online um, 
I don't think that's a very good response, to be fair, but it was, you know, some form of recognition that, you know, that they've seen it, so, you know, look at this, what I'm doing for you guys, going wading through this, and we can see here, there it is, a, a known place where people are pitching up and having fires and stuff like that, you know, problem is they put these metal fences around places like this and it just gets thrown over, they make an hole in the fence and throw it over or push it through and that's what the problem is, you know, and people see an empty space, I'm telling you now, they will be fly tipping. And this here is exactly what this is. Um, so we go here and we can see all this, all this here. You can tell it's been dumped over. It has many of different things that have been thrown over. There was a car garage there called Chapel Garage. Um, let's go back through here. Shoes, boots, tyres. Absolutely everything you can think of has been fly tipped uh, here. This has got to be the worst case I've ever seen. There's sofas in there. Absolutely everything there is nitrous bottles absolutely everything in here there is Look, more car bits more car bits just there tires you know the car garage is dumping there crap over here unless the summit proving that it was them and I don't think they'll probably get caught for it, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to go for a bit more of a look around, watching where I step. Uh, we've got a like a where a building used to be, just here, as you can see the bricks and stuff. This looks like it used to be some type of flooring. I wonder if there was an house here at some point uh, and then we can see all that litter oh my god the amount of cans of Red Bull that are there and then we've just got the garage just over there uh, can't, don't know what garage it's called not sure if it's a it's a SR garage and it's got a takeaway attached to it uh, so it makes sense from the rubbish that we've seen that there'd be a garage and a takeaway and a actual car garage where you get where you get your your car fixed that makes sense looking at the rubbish and then we'll go for a wander across here and there is houses that back onto this there is look at all this oh my god I don't even, I'm not even sure I can get through here. Oh, fucking hell. Look at all that. It's all that there. Oh, my God. Now that, I can tell you now, that's landlord dumping, that is. Landlords have thrown that over. When they've done an house up, you can tell by what rubbish is there. That there is that, that's what it is. What, oh, hey. It's a fucking jungle. Ah. Uh, up here just video more of this crap sorry if my camera is a bit dodgy today guys while I'm wading through this sort of stuff look at all that oh my fucking word it's absolutely disgusting isn't it absolutely disgusting and that's the end of it I could keep walking and walking and walking around this 
area and we'll just keep finding more and more and more as I've been doing these videos what I've noticed is and I've never realized it before but if you are a, a watcher of the channel and you've seen my latest videos Stoke on Trent drink a hell of a lot of pop and Red Bull and stuff like that bricks look at these look at these bricks look at them that is a decent brick there could that not be reclaimed and used somewhere I'm not sure it could but you know it's an idea isn't it it's an idea oh, things I do for you hey guys we get a video oh my lord we've got the mother load of nitrous here what is it with this nitrous lock I don't get it I don't get it at all how do they even use them it's absolutely you can tell someone's obviously been sitting there in the car they have the gas yeah smart whip silver then they throw it over don't they that's what they do and they throw throwing it over um well like I said see these fancies there people can just throw stuff over you know what I mean they've got to come up for these spaces that are left just rotting away how to stop people throwing over and things like that I don't know how they would do it but they need to work on that in my opinion but this will cost the council a hell of a lot of money putting right it really 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 would but you just think of the impact it's having on if there is any wildlife that could possibly live in this a pop a popper apocalyptic place it does it looks so like there's been some form of warrior or something you know what i mean it's like some summit out of a a zombie apocalypse or something it's absolutely crazy here you wouldn't believe it until you saw it um but anyway guys i'm gonna leave that one here it's gonna get reported we're gonna keep his eye on this area for sure to see if they take our report seriously uh see what they do manage the progress and uh yeah we'll see what happens there um so i hope you enjoyed this video please do give it the thumbs up please do share it the more the shares get out out there the more we can make it public the more pressure on the council we can put and we can get it out there on facebook we can get it out there on youtube we can get it out there on tiktok all other different social media sites that's how we push it that's how we get noticed that's how we force them into doing summit um with all that being said guys thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one